This is the house of speed. We have to provide speed. We have to provide more of it. We have to provide it quicker and better than anybody else in the world. Run Rocket is a vital tool to allow us to be the best in practice at providing improved acceleration for athletes, regardless of sport, age, or ability level. You're talking about sprint mechanics, start mechanics, acceleration, top end speed. You have one piece of equipment that can do it all. We're looking at all the different ranges of motion and, and different techniques. It helps us across the board help our athletes get faster. The Run Rock is a big tool to work on acceleration. So a lot of the athletes are baseball athletes, soccer athletes, working on resisted their acceleration with the Run Rocket and then unleashing them so they're unresisted will help them in a situation like tracking with a player or getting down a baseline. One good thing about the Run Rocket is that you can adjust the resistance as much as you need to to help the athlete get in the right angle and body position to apply maximum force into the ground. It allows us to really prescribe individualized loads by athlete. This is something we've always had a question in before is what load should we have to optimize acceleration? Run Rocket provides us a great opportunity to solve that puzzle. And so what we're actually doing now is we're enveloping other elements of technology, be it radar guns or laser timing systems to find out how much slower, how much resistance should we dial in for that specific athlete on that specific day for that specific element of their acceleration. So with the radar test, what we did was we had him run a full unresisted bout and we calculated his speed. From that speed, with the run rocket, what we're trying to do is decrease his speed to about 50%, and we are able to do that with the versatility and the usefulness of the adjustment for the resistance. That's going to be what research says would optimize the acceleration power and performance in the first zero to 20 yards. When I'm coaching an athlete, I don't want to have to worry about the tool that I'm using. So with the athlete being constantly resisted, I could do many and a bunch of different movements while staying with the athlete. It gives you the freedom to allow the machine to provide the resistance while you can do your job and coach. It has started to sort of change the conversation around just resistance running into a very concept-driven, systematic way to attack acceleration from start to transition and to top end speed. It's become a real game changer. This one piece of equipment that we can use for our youngest athletes, eight years old, all the way up to our more elite athletes. And there's not too many pieces of equipment that have that much versatility. I mean, we can take this thing, we've taken it outside, we've taken it right here on the track, on the turf behind me, and even on the court. It's a very useful, very versatile piece of equipment. So every athlete can use this. Acceleration and sprint mechanic touches every single athlete, and it's a piece that's well-rounded. Mark my words, five years from now, resisted sprint training is gonna have a very different look and feel to it based on a lot of the things that we're seeing anecdotally, as well as what the science is starting to produce for us.